Ryan Ruckman. Well, it has been a bit of a change from music, just the, the, the sub rules probably changed the ruck and roll as much as probably any, any of the roles in the mobile and guards and the type it's, uh, it's come in and, and then they've sort of gone head to head as well. So it's, we sort of, it's, it's changed a little bit where you're probably not enjoying having to chase around these athletic young blokes who are hitting that noise and that with a bolt around. How do you see it now? You've only played the two games. One was the subject mentioned that, you know, in your own mind, what you see, what's got to happen for you to get back into this team? You're only five weeks from the final. Yeah, well, I look at it, the, the positives and say that I think that I'll probably be the freshest player in the league come, come the end of the season after everyone else has sort of slugged it out all year and I've just been taking it easy on the on the exercise bike inside. But uh, I, I felt when I've come in, I've, still, I've been able to. The sun and the rain. I'll just bring the coach and see if I can't Well, I was, I was expecting a few more clouds than this, but yeah, it would have been nice to, to be running around today. What are you doing? Is that thing you've got A little video. I thought I might get, get a bit of inter interactive uh, on uh, krock.com.au and uh, show everyone a, a, bit, a bit of the, bit of the stuff that we, uh, that we do here on Krock. All very exciting. Yeah, it's very yeah. small. Yeah. Is that in any other place? No, I don't, uh, Robert. I know where you're going with that. You don't. <laughs> no, 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 no. There's no way. No way. Like no way. No way. <laughs> with Collingwood trailing, yep, trailing the Bombers by 23 points for Bunnings Heath Park. Yeah, thanks, uh, Maxie. What a terrific uh, quarter of footy, particularly by the Bombers. Uh, the Pies are winning the contested possessions and the clearances, but the Bombers have had more tackles. Celebrating half the pies when they kick them, and they've kicked seven. Essendon have kicked nine. Seven four plays nine four. We've travelled 14 minutes in the second term on the Hayes Winkle Agent scoreboard. Yes, yeah, stand on your feet, be a man. It's a man's game, and the ball in the middle here. And the big men have to stand up here. It's Essendon by 12 points. It's been whittled back to that margin. At one stage, they led by five goals, Heath Buck. Throw some names in as well, Angus Montfries, Howlett, Heppel, Reimers, Mive and Hardingham. They are playing some sort of game so far. Well, we talked about earlier about the small forward line coming in by a little bit. I think Essendon have done that to Ali. Hill stays down there a little bit. When he's not down there, they've got guys like uh, Jeta, Ramarie, Davis, uh, Reimers, all these guys are basically their forward line. Is Heath Buck. Go yeah, ahead, Buggy. Yeah, I've got um, Alex Masala's tail. Yeah, which yeah, he grabbed over his shoulder. But you can hear there actually four and stuff over here. He must be from the street, mate. I've heard it before. Must be a pretty popular boy, old Masala, because they were getting stuck into it. And he had the headset on, the cans on. They were still pouring uh, power right over his head. But yeah, he threw it on the ground and then I swept on it. <laughs> Front and square. Seagulls out here. Yeah, just swept on it. So that, that goes into the little, uh, little, little kitty with a bag at home. I'll just chuck all that stuff in. This is the, old, the old missus isn't too happy. I've got Luke Rounds' socks still in there. And, uh, <laughs> Alan Christensen's lollies from last week.